Hi guys, today we're going to be showing you how to make lobia, which is black-eyed beans. For this we're going to need 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of red chili powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, 1 third teaspoon of turmeric powder, and half a teaspoon of cumin seed. We're also going to need 1 medium sized onion, 1 medium sized tomato, 2-3 to three garlic cloves, half an inch of ginger, and some coriander to garnish. We also have one cup of black eye beans, which we have soaked three to four hours, but you can also soak them overnight in lukewarm water. We're going to start by adding oil to the pressure cooker and thinly slicing the onions and frying them on a high heat. While the onions are cooking, we're going to crush the ginger and the garlic. And once the onions have loosened up and are brown at the edges, we're going to add the tomato. We're also going to add the ginger and the garlic. We will be cooking everything on a high heat. Once the tomatoes have started to loosen up just a little bit, we're going to add all the spices, so the salt, chili, coriander, turmeric, cumin seed. Mix it and then we're going to add one cup of water and then we're going to pressure it. The reason we're going to pressure it before we add the black eye beans is because black eye beans have been soaked for three to four hours so they're already soft and we want the onions and the tomato to dissolve before we actually add the black eye beans. We're going to cook it on a high heat until the oil starts to separate and it changes color, the paste changes color as well and it starts sticking to the bottom. Once that happens, we're going to add the black eye beans. We're going to mix it and we're going to add about three quarters of a cup of water. We're going to put the heat on medium and we're going to cover and cook it for a few minutes. Uh, every few minutes, we're going to open the pressure cooker and um, just mix it to make sure that it's not sticking to the bottom or it's not burning. So the water is going to start drying. If you want to make the recipe watery and runny, then you can add one cup of water at this stage. If not, just leave it like this and garnish it with coriander. Our black eye bean curry is now ready. We hope you've enjoyed watching this recipe. Uh, give it a try. Bajir's Cooking is also available on Facebook for any questions or comments you may have. Uh, good luck and thanks for watching.